takes off. And now sitting there waiting for our command. All right, just stand in front of me. And put your thumb on that one. Put your other hand just there on the side there. And we're going to guide this thing around. This is you flying it right now. So you just tilt, tilt the uh, eye touch. Whichever way you want the AR drone to go, it's that easy. I don't have much gaming experience, but uh, it's something that I picked up really, really easily, and I'm loving it. And I've been flying this thing for three full days now, and I'm still having fun doing it. Go by yourself without me. All right, just be gentle with it, yeah? See, and that's what, exactly what the uh, indoor, indoor hull is made for. It's actually made for crashing. It's not ideal, but when you crash it, you put it straight back down like that. Let's take off fun. Let's go right to the side. You haven't damaged it, you haven't done anything wrong. That's what they're made for. You can still keep playing if you like. I'll actually just go to reset the trim on this one, because when it does crash, you have to make sure the trim's okay. Um, press trim and you're ready to go again. All right, I think Jamie's going to uh, take over talking a little bit to save my voice. But uh, please do come inside, please come inside and check out the AR drone. It is a very, very, very cool invention. It's used to basically a uh, remote control quadricopter for video gaming that you control with your iPhone, iPad, or iTouch. Jamie, take it away, brother. Or oh, iPad. Just the way you connect to a regular Wi Fi network. And so through that Wi Fi connection, you're going to get video footage streamed to your iPod, and you'll be able to control it using the gyroscope on board. As you can see, just using your hands, around like that. Easy to control, very natural, really cool. So you can pick it up and just start having fun straight away. Like, uh, all you need to do is hold on. Press your left thumb down on that one, and as you rock the phone, it's going to move for you. So if you feel like you lose control at any time, just let go, and it's going to sit there for you. So it's nice and slow. Oh, wow. You said it kind of hurt no one, so. Slow. Slow's not fun, okay, yeah. Like that, hold that, hold that now. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah, the question we had from the young man just now is uh, just asking the difference between the two units. There's actually all part of the same one. We've got two different shells. We've got the indoor shell and we've got the outdoor outdoor hull. This one's the outdoor hull. Obviously, for when you get a little more comfortable with your flying, this one's uh, kind of keeps you in the hover for me for a second, Tony. This one is the indoor hull. Now, obviously, there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one is they can actually bump into walls and stuff, into furniture, and it'll actually auto-stabilise itself. So, you know, like a lot of remote control cars or, or helicopters in the past, you crash them into the wall, and then they actually fall to the ground, they break, and there's your, there's your, your hundred dollars down. That's not, that's not what this does. So, it's, it's uh, not, just, uh, not just that, but um, also it protects you from, from the blades if you're flying inside. The blades don't actually hurt that much. I'm not going to stick my hand in there. I can, but it's not really going to hurt that much. But just uh, keeping everyone safe, especially if you've got small kids around. The outdoor hull is, uh, is great for when you're, uh, when you're flying without outside. And it is easy to change these over. It's so easy, literally. On, off. That easy. So get them all when you get you buy, uh, buy your AR drone. You get both the indoor hull and the outdoor hull. You get the unit. You get a few stickers. You get a battery. You get a charger. And we're selling them here today for $349. $349. They're available exclusively for a Telstra online and also around Australia. If Mark flying his AR drone, then uh, and I, I come on with mine. There's a second part of it where it's actually a multiplayer game. And if you see on the screen there, you can see it's uh, got the bit of virtual reality side of things. And by, by uh, so yes, combined with the uh, real life flying, but you can actually chase after your mate and shoot him down with missiles and machine guns. And the actual way you do that is you actually just follow it off the screen of your I iPhone, your iPad, your iPad. Uh, no, we won't do that today. We don't really have the space to do that today. There's lots of people around, so we have to be pretty careful with the space. 
Yeah, if you go online on, uh, on YouTube, you'll be able to see a bunch of the stuff. Oh, okay.